Hello, I'm uh, at DarkCon Expo, and uh, my name's Charlie Burkett, and I'm here with uh, Veronica Cartwright from uh, Alien, and uh, shows like Six Feet Under. Um, what made you get into acting? What made me get into acting? Mm -hmm. Well, I emigrated here with my parents from England. I was born in Bristol, and um, when we moved down to California, my parents didn't know anybody, and the lady on, in our apartment building suggested that our, her kids were cute, so maybe she would put them into modeling and stuff. So, uh, My sister got her first interview that she went on, Angela Cartwright, it was somebody up there likes me with Paul Newman and Pierre Angeli. And I had long braids and thousands of freckles and blue eyes, looked totally Californian. I was a large girl. And and then I went on to doing um, Leave It to Beaver and different shows, and I just really enjoyed it. And uh, being a... Does that, face, uh, does that see both of us? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's... Uh, okay. um, being a Briton, what helps you have an American accent? Uh, is it difficult to die? Oh, not anymore. I mean, really? I was, and my advantage was having an American accent because basically they sort of beat it out of you when you were a kid. Um, because I can work in England and I've done two movies over there and I have an American accent so um, you know I can fill their quota systems but um, because I'm still British yeah. and but I have an advantage in that I have a good American accent. Although now people, Brits are getting really good American accents. Josh Bowen on um, uh, Revenge is British. I mean, and boy, he's got a really good accent down. So, but it took a while. It used to be a time when it was awful. <laughs> yeah, even in, I mean, in Alien, you were, I couldn't tell. I mean, I, I until I looked it up, I was like, wow, I fooled me. So, yeah. good job. Um, uh, from your experience in working with Alfred Hitchcock in the TV show and the movie The Birds, what was it like on set? And, uh, well, I never met him when they did the Alfred Hitchcock Presents. That was an entirely that's different right. division. So um, I had done a movie called The Children's Hour with Mickey Moon and Audrey Hepburn. And then that led to me getting The Birds um, because he had seen that and requested meeting me. So I went and um, I um, met him, and uh, he, he loved the fact that I was born in Bristol because that was where his favorite wine cellar was. And um, he gave me tips on that, which at 12 years old I wasn't quite sure what I was supposed to do with that information. Yeah. But um, he was just wonderful to me. I know that there's been stories that he was a little more difficult with Tippy and everything, but right. being 12 years old, uh, he was wonderful to me. I could ask questions, never felt intimidated tea every afternoon at 4.30, and um, it was a wonderful experience. Yeah, I, I hear he was quite the character, like he would like play practical jokes and things like that. Told dirty jokes. Of course <laughs> to I 12 year old. <laughs> well, to everybody, and I'd laugh because I had no idea what he was talking about. <laughs> and uh, so you, uh, you get the part for Alien and, uh, you know, start filming a uh, what was that like with that massive set of all this strange technology? And well, it was a brilliant. It was brilliant. I mean, everything was built. Everything's actual size. No CI, CGI was used at all in the movie. Um, it was done on the largest sound stages in Europe. Um, the entire desert was built. The space jockey, everything was actual size. So when John Hart drops down to the eggs, yeah. he was way, way up there wow, at the top of the studio. Massive. And that desert was all built. So, And the set where we started out in the engine room was actually a corridor that connected to the hospital, that connected to the lunch room. So everything was connected. So it was rather claustrophobic when you were on the set. And, uh, but I, I think that added to it, and obviously Definitely. every movie after that has tried to make the alien Very true. like the alien. Yeah, that was the, set the example. Even when they did the abyss, even the water had looked, <laughs> you remember when it came up and it was water, it even looked like the alien. Oh so, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So, I mean, obviously it made a huge impact. Oh, definitely, definitely. And uh, I noticed, I noticed the, the scene with the uh, chest burster, the first time we see it, uh, that thing, that thing pops out of there and blood spatters. You were the only one that got hit and it got all over your face. Yes, it did. I leaned right into it. <laughs> Bam! I know. So I'm sure that was a one-off. So, yes, I was told I'd get a little blood on me, but of course I didn't know that I would be leaning into it. Right. So, did you know that that was going to come Well, I knew the thing okay. was coming out and we all read the script. Right. So, when we, you know, when John was downstairs getting prepped for four or five hours before we ever went downstairs. And everything was covered in plastic and everybody was wearing raincoats and big buckets of awful around. And so, it was kind of, you were leery going in. <laughs> so, so, and uh, added to it, I guess. Yeah. And uh, also, um, for those who don't know, you were also you played Lisa's mom in Six Feet Under. Yes. yes and I did. Uh, uh, just real quick, what, what was that like on set with uh, such a kooky cast? Well, I had actually played um, Peter's mother before in the movie. Yes. And um, so it was great seeing him. Um, and I had played Lily Taylor's. Um, mother-in-law really and slipping down life so it huh. was um, you know it was like old home week all of a sudden they switched My children. Parts. so it was um, it was great I had originally auditioned for the part that Francis Conroy did oh wow and um, yeah I'd gone back quite a few times I but I didn't get it so it well, didn't go my way so it was nice of them to remember me yeah and put me definitely in. definitely Okay, well, um, thank you very much for taking the time to, to hear me thank yak you, on, and, uh, and uh, it's, it's been a pleasure. I hope it's not been too loud out there that yeah, we'll, picked uh, up on we'll the sound. See. Okay, thank you All very right, thank much. You.